So I'm really excited. We're headed to Fukuoka in just a little bit, like two hours. But what I'm excited about is that I booked this hotel in Fukuoka and the theme of the hotel is a library, I think. It looks really cool online. Anyway, I'm excited because Del loves books and he loves reading and I think he's gonna think it's pretty cool and he doesn't know about it. So we'll see how he reacts. Welcome back to We'll Keep You Posted. We're headed to Fukuoka so we can wake up bright and early and catch the airplane. We'll have a full day of travel to our surprise destination, a once in a lifetime bucket list adventure. Yeah, are you surprised? Because yeah. this isn't the original hotel that I booked. Uh -oh. well, I booked this one because um, the theme is like books library. or library. Yeah. Like yeah. Very cool. Yes, when did you change the room? I didn't know. A few weeks ago. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah. It's a big room. Whoa! I'm getting a bath tonight. <laughs> These are fake out books, too, but I love the. Who reads on vacation? Me. I read on vacation because I love to read. I love books. After we settled into the hotel, we headed out toward Hakata Station to see if we could find a little Christmas magic. We're headed to Hakata Station. There's the lights. There's Santa. There's Santa. Right there. Santa. Hakata Station is the busiest railway terminal in Kyushu. It houses the JR lines as well as the Fukuoka City subway line and the Shinkansen line. Although we weren't riding the train today, we knew that we could find some yummy food and we had read that they had some pretty Christmas decorations. Hakata Station. They got this cool, cool white tree behind us. Kids are here too. Lydia's here. Andrew's here. Where are we going? Where? I won't say where we're going. It's top secret. Let's go and look at these lights in here. Come on, right there. Can we take a picture? Yeah. So we're going to go find something to eat. But this is pretty cool. It's not the Christmas market, the main one. This is what we were hoping for. We're in a long line to get some ramen. We're about like 20 deep. Yeah. It's really deep. Yeah. 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 Ten ramen, very good. Long line. Yummy. We're gonna try to get some drinks here. The kids got some hot chocolate. We're a long line. Like nine o'clock. We just heard of Persian and Mariah Carey's uh, 
All I want for Christmas, we've never heard before. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's see if you get a little Celine Dion, the Japanese lady. It sounded nice. Oh my gosh, you are nice. It's also pretty. I love it. Just like you. Oh, thanks. After grabbing something to eat and enjoying the Christmas festivities, we are on our way back to the hotel to get settled in for the night. We needed to get plenty of rest because we have a full day of traveling tomorrow. We have arrived in Fukuoka and our next adventure is a surprise. We're just going to settle down and settle in and hopefully we can rest up for the journey tomorrow. What you got there, Pookie? I've got my pajamas from the room. Like a giant. Yeah, scoot back in the light because you can't see you. Barely. You can't turn the light on? Well, I, I can't from here. I don't know how the lights turn on. You're ruining the video. Sorry. Yeah, it's a good video, by the way. This is pretty boring. I to, I, well, I thought it would just be a couple <laughs> seconds. It's pretty much the most boring video of all time. But we wanted you to know that in Japan... There's usually always pajamas in the room they're, and everything they're else you need. On the bed for you. They're folded on the bed, see? And mine's there, which I won't fit, by the way. I'm a little hefty. <laughs> nice. All right, say goodbye. The next day. <laughs> I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Every time it's just like a little bit, but it's still blinking, so maybe it's going to work somewhere. I'm going to wait. So you got this fancy, smancy, not really fancy, but coffee maker. It's like a one cup coffee maker. Somehow they always stump us. So we did what we were supposed to do, we thought, and like that's how much coffee came out. So I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna try again. Maybe you just keep pressing it till it's the strength that you want. Maybe that's it. I don't know. That's what I'm doing. So, let's see. Alright. The room was good. Got a good night's sleep. Oh, this is what we were looking at last night. Yeah. All right, we're headed to our car in the parking lot. Yeah, so we can figure out how to get out of this parking deck. <laughs> this morning we're headed to get our car and we're gonna see how much it costs to park for the night. And then we're gonna, Dale's gonna drop us at the airport and then he's gonna take the car for long, long term parking. So that's what we're doing now. Well, we've hit a little um, snafu. We were leaving the parking lot of the hotel and it's supposed to be 1,500 yen a night. And so Del put us the ticket in and it said 5,400 yen for the night, which is roughly like $40, which is a lot. Well, we were just gonna go ahead and pay it because we don't want to be rushed, but it only takes 1,000 yen bills and not 5,000 yen bills, which is what we have. And so we have to call, had to call the front desk. Well, we're in Fukuoka and um, you can't expect for the, um, the folks at the hotel to speak English because you know, we're in Japan, so they speak Japanese, which is appropriate, but we don't speak much Japanese. Um, so it was very hard to tell her that we were stuck at the machine to pay and it was charging too much. So we've reparked our tickets in the machine and Dell just took a picture of the machine and now he's going to the front desk to see if we can figure it out. I don't know if they give us a different ticket to stick in and that's what gives us 1500 yen, the, the price, the new price. Uh, we don't know how it works, but yeah, I'll let you know how it turns out. We're, we're still on time though. Our flight's not until we've got, let's see, nine, 10, 11, three hours before our flight. So we're totally fine. It's 10 minutes to the airport. 
we're gonna be okay. But can we get out of the parking lot is the question. All right, so Dale's back and we're gonna attempt <laughs> one more time. <laughs> so what he tells me is that he paid her <coughs> inside the hotel. So. Yeah, and I, I still, she said just match the button down here. I said, okay, I said the green button, she said yes. So we're gonna. Maybe the answer in the intercom. We're gonna match the group. Maybe they have to press a secret button. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, going to tree. And we'll see. Guess what? Our window won't roll down. Hi. Hi, uh the, the gate will not open. Okay. He speaks English. Oh, he's coming to open it for us. That service. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, that's how you do it right there. I, know I could have hit the button the first time, but well, it wouldn't work because I couldn't. Yeah, we didn't pay, so yeah. now. All right, so now we need to figure out where we're going. Can I just say that it's raining? Everywhere we go, the rain follows us. So now we're at the airport. Dad is dropping the car off at the parking lot. Then as soon as he gets here, we're going to go to security. There he is. So we made it through with our mobile ticket and we got through customs. So now we're waiting to find out where, what gate to go to. Our ticket doesn't have our gate number yet. So we're gonna just wait, get some coffee maybe. Just waiting, waiting. That's the thing about international travel. It's a lot of waiting. We can board in like 25 minutes. Yeah. So we made it through. Got the car parked. Well, we don't know yet if it's on the plane or not. We'll see. We got the we car get paper things. I'm worried. We have a mobile boarding pass for the first time. And we don't have a paper. So, you know. It worked to get through security. So I think it'll be okay. okay so, cool. We'll see. We forgot to say where we were going. We built it up in the video. We're, we're going, going to Thailand! Thailand! Yeah, we think, yeah. Oh, it's chilly right here. <laughs> We flew with Thai Airways from Fukuoka to Bangkok. The flight was about six hours and the Thai Airways staff was amazing. They attended to our needs, we were comfortable. It was a really great experience.
We were a little worried about our connecting flight. We only had about an hour and a half between our flights. There were signs in the airport that pointed you to the area with the connecting flight, so it was very easy. We're going to be spending about eight days in Phuket and then we'll head back to Bangkok and only be in Bangkok for about 19 hours. We made it. We're here, right? What are we doing? Oh, we're getting on the shuttle bus. We're waiting on our ride, right? Oh, wow. Oh. We're going to do some really fun things this week, like visit an elephant sanctuary, do a little island hopping, eat some yummy food. We're so excited. We can't wait. We finally made it to Arianara Beach Resort, Phuket, and we were anxious to get to our room. After about 11 hours of travel, yeah, we were pretty tired. It's pretty here. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Well, we arrived in Phuket at the Arianara Resort. And it was a lot of traffic getting from the airports, in case you in case you were wondering. It took about an hour to get here. It's not even that far. But we're here. We're in our room. It's a nice room. And we're going to give you a little tour of the room and try to show you all the features. The bathroom. I feel like we can't do a room tour without showing the bathroom. And although it wasn't our fun Japanese toilet, it was a very nice bathroom. We have two bedrooms, basically. There's a section. So the kids are going to be here. Oh, Lydia's asleep in our bed over here. And you have this little sectional area you can close off. That's pretty nice. And then, this is the cool part. We have a pool, a swim-up pool to our room. So this is our own little pool. We have a little gate here. Excited to get in the pool tomorrow. Because it's about 85 degrees right now at uh, 9 o'clock at night. Close the door so the air can cool off in there. Good night for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you posted. Japan.